Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and greetings again from San Francisco. I'm on my way to Burning Man this weekend and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I just realized something which is really interesting. Okay, here we go. See, I made this very delicious energy mix and um, it contains Something like 20 ingredients, including spirulina, maca, ginger, lemon, orange, all sorts of nuts and seeds and activated chia seeds and, and raisins and um, uh, dried apricots. And I mean, it's a massive, massive amount of energy. But uh, I'm going to show you something. Look, look at the consistency, right? It's like a kind of of paste but first in the appearance I'm pretty sure that most of the people who see that they go like whoa I'm not sure if I'm going to eat that right there are two things there is the consistency and then there are there is the color which is the this green color which is due to the to the spirulina which colors things basically in green and spirulina is like is like superfood you know but it has this green color so I'm amazed by how many people are, you know, I show this to, to so many people and they go like, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat that just because of the color or because of the way, the way it looks, you know, the, the consistency. And this is the thing which is really crazy because we live in a world where most of the foods that you buy in the supermarket, you know, 95% of the processed foods are packed with you know, substance activators, all sorts of chemicals that they put in the food, uh, coloring agents to keep the food longer. And um, <clears throat> this is the thing where the contradiction is, is if you want to actually eat the food the way it looks, that's the way healthy food looks, okay? You have to get used to it. You taste it and it's delicious. You eat it and it gives you a massive boost of energy in your body. You know, it keeps you alive. This is the kind of stuff that keeps you alive. And if you're looking for the right color, you know, it needs to be purple or orange or red, bright red, you know, look for jellies and look for stuff like that, which actually have this kind of consistency. You need to be freaking coherent. You know, you're, you cannot complain to the uh, big uh, food industry companies for putting... Um, uh, you know, all these coloring agents and, and, and uh, chemicals that are going to keep the liquid exactly in a smooth way, you know, <laughs> and then come and be confronted with a product like this one, which is the, the raw, healthy stuff, and then complain because it doesn't have the color that you would like to have, okay? This is, this is a key contradiction, and it's a key contradiction that is happening even in the people who are trying to be healthy, you need to get used to the fact that the food, the raw food that you are going to eat will have colors that appear to be a little bit weird to you, unusual, because they don't have coloring. So this is the way it ends up, ends up looking. And sometimes in the substance itself, it's not going to look like what you expect. It doesn't look like pastas or tortellinis. It doesn't look like rice or simply a, a, an orange juice. It looks different. It looks different because there are no chemical agents added to it, okay? So wake up and stop contradicting yourself. Next time I, I show this kind of food to somebody, I want people to go like, wow, you know, this looks really healthy, it looks yummy. It has the kind of color that feels natural. <laughs> I mean, this is a very exciting topic and, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter whether you eat it or not. I, I know what I like and I know that I'm doing it anyway. And I think that most of you, you know, maybe a big bunch of you, a big part of you might already be adapted to that. But I'm still surprised by how many people, um, you know, will respond with objections. Objections according to certain standards of, of vision, of aesthetic and... It's, it's not right. It's not right because who cares about the color of this thing? 
Really, who cares? It's not for the eyes. I mean, of course, if it can fit the eyes, it's important as well. But it's first for the for what it does, how what is the energetic impact that it has on your body? Okay? This is the thing which is the most important. What is the energetic impact? Is this food alive? Yes, it is. Does it give you a bunch of micronutrients and boost your energy body, your energy level? Yes, it does. That's what matters. The color comes next. If you put the color first, you know, you go, no, not the right color, sorry. That's not okay. You have to shift, shift priorities, shift your taste, shift the way you perceive food and the way you look at it if you want to get healthy. Otherwise, you know, imagine, this is how it works, you know, people in big companies, they are not inventing the products that they sell. They actually confront them with test groups and people go like, yeah, it's not sweet enough. You know, I like the sweetest one, the sweeter one. So they go and keep adding sugar, not because they decide to, but because they know that people get addicted to that, because they like it more. On average, people will eat more if it's actually sweeter. They will eat more if it has the right color. But all that, all these standards of what is right and what is wrong with food need to be shifted. It needs to change. Otherwise, otherwise the, 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 you know, the big, Food companies are going to keep on delivering what you are really asking. You want something with the right color, with the, the bright orange or the bright red color, then they need to add coloring, chemicals. And then you complain because you don't want those chemicals in the food. When If you don't want the chemicals in the food, you have to get used to eat stuff that looks like that. Okay? This is the empowering message for today. Wake up, okay? This is a very, I mean, it's a, it's a very important message and a very core trick, something to shift in your mind right away. Bliss to you, and I'll be back soon with more tips. Take care, bye-bye.